Hello and welcome to our video on the top 10 Atari games of all time. Atari was a pioneer in the gaming industry and created many classic games that are still enjoyed today. Let's dive in and take a look at the top 10 Atari games. Number 10, Kaboom. Kaboom is a classic video game for Atari 2600 console and was developed and published by Activision in 1981. The game was designed by Larry Kaplan, who was also one of the co-founders of Activision. The gameplay of Kaboom revolves around the simple concept. Players control a bucket at the bottom of the screen that must catch bombs that are being dropped by the Mad Bomber at the top of the screen. The player earns points for each bomb they catch, but loses a bucket for each bomb that hits the ground. The game becomes progressively more difficult as the bomber drops bombs at a faster rate. One of the distinctive features of Kaboom is its use of the Atari 2600's paddle controller. The paddle controller allowed players to move the bucket left and right with a spinning wheel, which provided greater precision than a joystick controls used in other Atari games. Kaboom was well received by critics and players alike and it became one of the best selling games for the Atari 2600. The game's simple but addictive gameplay and its use of the paddle controller made it a classic of the early video game era. It has been ported to various other platforms over the years and remains popular among retro gaming enthusiasts. Number 9. Missile Command Missile Command is an arcade style video game developed and published by Atari in 1980. The game is set in a fictional city that is being attacked by a barrage of missiles. The player takes on the role of Missile Commander and must use a trackball and button to control three anti-missile batteries to defend the city from incoming missiles. The player's objective is to destroy as many incoming missiles as possible before they hit the city or the missile batteries. The game is divided into levels, each with increasing difficulty as the number of missiles and their speed increases. The game ends when the player's missile batteries are destroyed or the city is hit by too many missiles. In addition to the basic gameplay, Missile Command also includes a few additional features. The player can earn bonus points by shooting down satellites and UFOs that occasionally appear on the screen. The game also includes a limited supply of smart bombs that can be used to destroy all the incoming missiles on the entire screen at once. Missile Command was a popular game during the golden age of arcade games and has been ported to many different platforms over the years, including home consoles and personal computers. The game's simple yet challenging gameplay, coupled with its Cold War era theme, helped make it a classic of the arcade era. Number 8. Pitfall. Pitfall is a classic side-scrolling platform game released for the Atari 2600 in 1982. The game was designed by David Crane and published by Activision. In Pitfall, the player takes on the role of an adventurer named Pitfall Harry, who must navigate through the jungle filled with various obstacles and hazards in order to collect treasure and score points. The game is played on a single screen that scrolls horizontally as the player moves. The player must guide Harry through a series of obstacles, including pits, quicksand, rolling logs, and alligators, while also jumping over or swinging on vines and avoiding snakes, scorpions, and other dangerous animals. Harry has a limited amount of time to complete each level and must collect all the treasure within that time limit in order to advance to the next stage. In addition to treasure, there are also hidden bonus items scattered throughout the level such as silver bars and diamond rings, which can give the players extra points. This game has a total of 255 screens, and each screen contains a different layout of obstacles and hazards. The graphics and sound effects in Pitfall were considered cutting edge for the time, and the game was widely praised for its challenging gameplay and innovative design. Pitfall was also notable for being one of the first video games to feature a non-linear design, allowing the player to explore the levels and collect items in any order they choose. Overall, Pitfall remains a classic and influential game in the history of video games and has been re-released on various platforms over the years, including modern consoles and even mobile devices. Number 7. 
Space Invaders. Space Invaders is a classic arcade video game that was first released in 1978 by Taito Corporation a Japanese video game developer. The game quickly became popular and it was eventually licensed and released for the Atari 2600 home console in 1980. The gameplay of Space Invaders revolves around a player controlling a laser cannon at the bottom of the screen and shooting at descending rows of alien invaders. The player has to dodge the aliens lasers and fire and destroy all the invaders before they reach the bottom of the screen. As the game progresses, the aliens move faster and shoot more frequently, making the gameplay more challenging. Atari acquired the license to release Space Invaders on their Atari 2600 console in 1980. The game was programmed by Rick Maurer and was one of the first home console games to use a microprocessor-based hardware design. This allowed the game to have more complex graphics and gameplay compared to earlier console games, which used simpler hardware designs. When Space Invader was released on the Atari Atari 2600, it was an instant hit. The game's popularity helped it propel the Atari 2600 console to even greater success. It also introduced the concept of video games as a popular form of entertainment that could be enjoyed at home rather than just in the arcades. In 1981, Atari released a sequel to Space Invaders called Space Invaders Part 2. This game featured new gameplay elements such as invisible aliens and new alien formations. However, it did not achieve the same level of success as the original game. Over the years, Space Invaders has been ported to numerous other platforms including the home computer and mobile devices. The game has been featured in various other media such as movies, television shows, and music. We're losing ships, Lur. What are your orders? Increase speed, drop down, and reverse direction. In 1999, Taito released a remake of Space Invaders called Space Invaders 2000. This game featured updated graphics and gameplay as well as new power-ups and multiplayer modes. In 2006, Taito released Space Invaders Extreme for the Nintendo DS and PlayStation Portable handheld consoles. This game featured updated graphics and gameplay as well as new power-ups and boss battles. Today, Space Invaders remains a beloved classic of the video game industry and is still enjoyed by many players of all ages. Its impact on the industry cannot be overstated as it helps to establish video games as a major form of entertainment and has inspired countless other games in the decades since its release. Number 6 Centipede. Centipede is a classic arcade game developed by Atari in 1980. It was designed by Ed Logg and Donna Bailey, one of the first women working in video game industry at the time. Centipede was a hugely popular game in the arcades and it was ported to many home consoles including the Atari 2600, the Atari 5200, and the Commodore 64. The gameplay of Centipede is simple yet challenging. The player controls a small gun at the bottom of the screen and must shoot the centipede as it moves down the screen. The centipede is made up of several fragments and when the player shoots one of those segments, the centipede splits into two. The player must also avoid other creatures such as spiders and scorpions that appear on the screen and try to kill the player's gun. The development of centipede began when Ed Logg was tasked with creating a new game for Atari's arcade division. Logg was inspired by his love of gardening and his encounters with centipedes while working in his garden. He wanted to create a game that was easy to learn but difficult to master and that would appeal to both male and female players. Donna Bailey, who was working as a programmer at Atari at the time, was asked to work on the game as well. Bailey was one of the few women in video game industry at the time and she brought a unique perspective to the development of the game. She was responsible for designing the game's colorful graphics, which were inspired by her love of nature and her background in art. The the development of Centipede was not without its challenges. The game was originally supposed to be called Magic Garden, but the name changed to Centipede at the last minute. The development team also had to work around the limitations of the hardware at the time, which meant that the game had to be designed to run on a relatively low resolution screen. Despite these challenges, Centipede was a huge success. It was one of the top grossing arcade games in 1981, and it helped establish Atari as a leader 
in the video games industry. The game's success also helped pave the way for other successful arcade games such as Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. Centipede has remained popular over the years and has been re-released on a variety of programs including mobile devices and modern game consoles. The game's simple yet addictive gameplay, colorful graphics, and memorable music have made it a beloved classic that continues to be enjoyed by players of all ages. Number 5. Donkey Kong Donkey Kong was originally released in Nintendo in 1981 as an arcade game. It was created by the legendary game designer Shigeru Miyamoto and was a huge success becoming one of the most popular arcade games of its time. Atari, which was one of the leading video game companies at the time, licensed the rights to port Donkey Kong to its home consoles, including the Atari 2600 and Atari 7800. The Atari 2600 version of Donkey Kong was released in 1982 and was a significant departure from the original arcade game. Due to limitations in the Atari 2600 hardware, the game had to be heavily simplified, with only only two levels and a limited number of animations. The graphics and sound were also significantly downgraded from the arcade version. The Atari 7800 version of Donkey Kong was released in 1988 and was even more faithful port to the arcade game. It featured all four levels from the original game and the graphics and sound were greatly improved over the Atari 2600 version. Overall, while the Atari's version of Donkey Kong were popular at the time, they are generally not considered to be as good as the original arcade game or later console ports. Nevertheless, they played an important role in bringing the classic game to a wider audience and helping to establish it as a gaming classic. Number 4. Asteroids Asteroids is a classic arcade game developed by Atari Inc. and released in 1979. The game was designed by Ed Logg with graphics by Lyle Rains and sound by Robert Vieira. The gameplay involves the players controlling a small spaceship that must navigate through an asteroid field while avoiding collisions with the asteroids and other hazards. The players must shoot the asteroids into smaller pieces until they're small enough to be destroyed entirely. As the player progresses through the game, they face increasing numbers of asteroids along with other hazards. Asteroids was a groundbreaking game at the time, with vector graphics that were both distinctive and functional. The game also featured a high score table which helped to popularize the idea of score-based competition among gamers. The game was a massive commercial success, with over 70,000 arcade cabinets sold in the United States alone. It was also ported to a wide range of home video game systems including the Atari 2600, the Commodore 64, and the Atari 8-bit family of computers. Asteroid was also significant for its impact in the game industry. The success of the game helped to establish Atari as a major player in the video game industry and demonstrated the potential of arcade games as a commercial product. The game's simple addictive gameplay and iconic graphics have helped also make it a beloved classic amongst gamers. Pac-Man Pac-Man is a classic arcade game that was first released in Japan in 1980 by game developer Namco. It quickly became a huge success and was brought to North America by game manufacturer Midway, where it gained even more popularity. Atari, a major video game company at the time, also licensed the game and released versions for various home consoles, including the Atari 2600. The Atari 2600 version of Pac-Man was released in 1982 and was one of the first home console ports of the game. However, the Atari version of the game was widely criticized for its poor quality. The game suffered from a number of issues, including flickering graphics, awkward controls, and missing features from the original arcade version. For example, the game's signature intermission scene, which featured Pac-Man and the ghosts interacting in various ways, was absent from the Atari version. Despite its flaws, the Atari version of Pac-Man was still a commercial success thanks in part to the popularity of the arcade game. The game sold over 7 million copies, making it one of the best-selling games for the Atari 2600. However, the game's reputation suffered greatly due to its poor quality, and it was often cited as an example 
example of a poorly executed game port. Since its initial release, Pac-Man has been released on many other platforms, including various home consoles, handheld devices, and mobile games. The game remains a cultural icon and is often cited as one of the greatest video games of all time. Number two, Adventure. Adventure is a classic video game for the Atari 2600 console that was released in 1979. The game was developed by Warren Robinette, who was inspired by the text-based adventure game Colossal Cave Adventure. Robinette wanted to create a graphical version of the game that would be more accessible to a wider audience. The game was groundbreaking for its time as it was one of the first video games to feature a persistent game world and also one of the first to include hidden easter eggs. The game is played from a top-down perspective and the player controls a character who must navigate through a maze-like world interacting with objects and characters along the way. The objective of the game is to find a magic chalice and return it to the player's home castle. Along the way, the player must navigate through three different kingdoms each with its own challenges and obstacles. The game is also known for its unique enemies, including a duck that can steal the player's items and a dragon that guards the chalice. One of the most memorable features of Adventure is the hidden Easter egg that Robinette included in the game. In a secret room accessible only by moving through a certain wall, the player can find Robinette's name written in the game's code. This was a revolutionary idea at the time, as it was one of the first instances of a game developer inserting their own personal touch into a game. Adventure was a huge success for the Atari 2600 console and is considered one of the most important games in the history of video games. Its influence can be seen in many modern games, including The Legend of Zelda and Minecraft. Number 1. Pong Pong is a classic arcade game that was released in 1972 by Atari. It is one of the earliest arcade games and is often credited with popularizing video games as a form of entertainment. Pong was created by Alan Alcorn, who was an engineer at Atari at the time. The game was based on the concept of table tennis, and it was designed to be simple enough for anyone to play. The development of Pong was a result of requests made by the founder of Atari, Nolan Bushnell. Bushnell had seen a table tennis game played on a computer system that he thought that the idea could be turned into a commercial product. He asked Alcorn to create a simple game based on the concept of table tennis, and Alcorn came up with the game that would become Pong. The first version of Pong was very simple, featuring two paddles and a ball that bounced back and forth between them. The game was played on a black and white television set, and controls consisted of two knobs that allowed the players to move their paddles up and down. Despite its simplicity, Pong became an instant hit. It was first tested at a local bar and it quickly became popular with all the customers. Within a few months, Pong had become a major success and Atari had sold thousands of units. In the years that followed, Pong continued to be popular and Atari released several new versions of the game, including Pong Doubles and Super Pong. The game also inspired many other video game developers to create similar games and it helped establish video games as a major industry. Today, Pong is remembered as a classic game that played a significant role in the early history of video gaming. While it may seem primitive by modern standards, it remains an important part of the gaming history and a beloved icon of the video game industry. So there you have it, those are our top 10 Atari games. Let us know what system you want to see ranked next, and we'll see you in the next video.